Hello class! Welcome to our channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. Thank you so much class for choosing Alan Shane's tutorial for you to be able to know more about accounting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can also comment down below after this video. Okay class, let's start. Our discussion for today is all about compute the missing element of financial performance. In our previous video, we talked about how are we going to compute the missing element of financial position. Okay, let's start. Here in exercise 2.1, we have income, expenses, profit, or loss. Okay, so let's follow this formula. Income. Minus expenses is equal to profit or loss. Okay? Let income less expenses is equal to profit or loss. Okay? How do we know that the answer is profit and how do we know if the answer is loss? Okay, remember this ha? When income is greater than expenses, so it is profit. But when income is less than expenses, so the answer is loss. Okay? Again, when income is greater than expenses, so we have profit. But when income is less than expenses, we have loss. Okay, let's start. Exercise letter A, 2.1 letter A. We have a given of income, 520000 No expenses, so profit or loss. Now, let's find or compute how much is the expenses so we will go back to the formula given above okay so 520,000 na income less the profit na 340 so we have expenses of 180,000 so, ilan ba dapat ang expenses na ililess natin sa income para makakuha ng profit na 340,000? So, the answer is 180,000. So, let's check ha if the answer is correct. So, 520,000 less 180,000. Therefore, we have a profit of 340,000. So, our answer in letter A is correct. Next, so same given with letter, letter B that we have to compute for the expenses. So, ilan ang minus natin sa income to get 510,000 pesos profit? So, income 2,100,000 less... 510,000 therefore we have an expenses of 1,590,000 so profit a income less profit income less profit okay so let's check huh, if it's correct 2,100,000 minus 1,590,000 so we have a profit of 510,000. So let's proceed to letter C. We have income of 1,500,000, expenses of 750,000. So let's find how much is the profit or loss. So here, diba, the income is 1,5 and the expenses is 750. So income is greater than the expenses. So, when income is greater than the expenses, we will expect what? Diba? Profit, income is greater than expenses. So, we will 
expect that the answer in letter C is a profit. So, 1 million 500,000 less 750,000. So, we have a profit of 750,000. Okay? Let 1 million 500 less 750. So, therefore, we have a profit of 750,000. Next, here in letter D, we have expenses of 1,800,000 and a profit or loss of 650,000. Now, let's find how much is the income. So, in order for us to know how much is the income, diba here, we have the profit and also the expenses. So, we will know that the income is greater than the expenses because the answer is profit. So, let's add 1,800,000 plus 650,000. So, therefore, the income is 2,450,000. So, it is expenses plus the profit. Here, it is income less expenses. Okay, so let's check 2,450,000 minus 1,800,000. Okay, so the profit is 650,000. Now, let, let's proceed to letter E. So, we have expenses of 1,600,000 and a profit or loss of 350. So, the open and close parenthesis sign, it is a loss. So, therefore... We will expect that the income is less than the expenses because the answer here is loss. So, let's find out how, how much is the income. So, 1,600,000 plus negative. So, do not forget the negative sign, ha? Okay, so 1,250,000. Okay, 1 million. 250,000. Okay. So, 6 plus negative 350. So, 1,250 minus. Let's check 6. So, loss of 350,000. Okay. So, next we have exercise 2.2. When we say exercise 2.2, it is at the same uh, we will compute for the missing element. Okay, so let's proceed. So, an accounting firm has income of 250,000 and a loss of 350. So, the income is the income is 250,000 income then expenses then loss is how much? 35,000. So, we will we will find the expenses. So, 250,000 plus negative 35 negative 35,000. So, the ex 250,000 less the Plus the 35,000. So, two hundred eighty-five thousand ang expenses. Okay? We have expenses of 285,000. So, 250 less 285. So, loss of 35,000. Okay, next, we have a laundry, sh letter B, a laundry shop has income of 435,000. So, the income is 435,000 and expenses of 273,000. So, now, let's compute for the profit or loss. 
So here, we will compute for the profit because expenses is greater than the, I know, the income is greater than the expenses. Okay, 435 minus 273, so the profit is 162,000 pesos. Okay, so next, letter C. An advertising agency has income of how much? 835,000 pesos and also expenses walang na mention and the profit is 198,000 so here because the profit because the answer is profit so the income is greater than expenses so 835 less 198 so, the expenses is 637,000. Okay, so let's check 835,000 minus 637. The answer is 198,000. Okay, next we have this letter D. A grocery store has expenses of 183,000 183, and a loss of 28,500. So, open and close parentheses. And we will find the income. So, here we expect that income is less than the expenses. So, 183 plus 28,500. 183, 28,500, so 183,000 plus the negative 28,500, so the income is 154,500. So see, the income is less than the expenses. So let's check 154,500. Less 183, so there is a loss of 200, uh, 28,500. Okay, here, last example. Uh, we have expenses of 150,000 and a profit of 50,000. So, let's find the, how much is the income. So, the income income is 200,000 so 150 plus 50,000 so let's check if it's correct 200 minus 150,000 equal to 50,000 okay so that's it for our discussion about the computation of the missing element of financial performance do not forget this class, ha? the income less expenses is equal to profit or loss. And if the income is greater than expenses, so that is profit. And if the income is less than expenses, that is loss. So thank you so much class for listening. Hope you understand something from our topic today. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and share it with your loved ones. You can comment down below class. Thank you so much. God bless.